Hi guys, so I'm just going to show you the Backlink Gap tool and what it does. Um, so the Backlink Gap tool is another one of SEMrush's great little features that not everyone knows about. Um, and you can basically see from the dashboard here um, where it says enter yours and your competitors domain names. They will analyse the website Backlink profiles and discover untapped Backlink opportunities. And it also says you will receive a list of domain names to target in your link building campaigns. So great little tool if that can do the grunt work for you then why not you know if you were going to do spreadsheets and compare backlink data from you know your website to one of your competitions then it would be a lot of work so where do you find the tool so you've got your semrush dashboard as you can see down the left hand side and if i just close this over you'll see there's a, a an option here gap analysis so if i just click on the little arrow there you'll see we've got keyword gap and backlink gap so we want to select the backlink gap tool for this particular tutorial and as i say it brings up this nice dashboard here now basically what you can do it's very simple and easy to use you can enter your domain name and up to four of your other competitors domain names so you simply add the domain names in this, these boxes up the top here so i'm going to add in my own website I will add in Andy Drinkwaters, iqseo.org. I will add in Matthew Woodward, .co.uk. And I will also add in Matt Diggity, diggitymarketing.com. Now, it's very simple and easy to do. You just enter the root domain name in here. And you can add, as I say, you can add in up to four of your competitors. Um, I've only done three just now, just for demonstration purposes. And then you'll see a green icon in the top right hand corner. So if you just zoom in here uh, and click on that green button, it will then give me an overview of the backlink profiles of these websites. So you've got here, you can look at the data from the last three months to the last year to all time. Um, and it basically gives you a graph there from the past year um, or if I go zoom into all time then I can check our backlink profiles over um, all time so you can see the blue line which is my website the orange lines Andy Drinkwaters green lines Matthew Woodward and the brown line is Matt Diggity so you can look at these over a period of time but I'm just going to set this back to three months and you see people's graphs are kind of steady, um, not any kind of major increases or anything like that. Um, so you can look at this chart scope here and it'll have my website, as I say, Andy Drinkwaters, Matthew Woodwards and Matt Diggity's. If for any reason you would want to exclude anyone from this graph, you can say untick Matthew Woodward and it will remove the green line. You may also want to remove Andy Drinkwaters and do a direct comparison between myself and Matt Diggity um, or add someone in, remove Matt Diggity. You can play about with this and, and do it to suit yourself. Another cool feature is notes. So you can add a note here. So if you're using VAs or you know, you've got team members um, as part of your team, then you can add notes in here as well. So you could put a title in and a description and leave a note for someone who may be working on your account. Um, and you can obviously put the date in or whatever it may be as well. So you can add notes in here, which is quite a cool little feature. So basically, um, if we scroll further down past the kind of graph, you'll be given a list of referring domain names. Now, it'll give you the referring domain name here, then it'll give you an authority score. Now, the authority score is just a, a score that SEMrush give you, and it's calculated based on paid score, domain score, trust score, and some other data internally through SEMrush. Um, and that gives you a kind of idea as to how powerful a particular link's going to be. So, for example, google.com 99, wordpress.org 96, and so on. So, the authority score is listed there, um, and you can see it quite clearly. If you're asking me which links would I be looking for, I'd be looking for ones with decent authority scores. They're the ones that pass the most link juice and the links that you probably want to get first and foremost. So that is what authority score is. Matches. Now that's the total number of um, analysed domain names that is, is linking 
to a particular website that we've put in here. So for example, google.com, Matthew Woodward has got 23 links from google.com. Um, and myself, Andy Drinkwater and Matt Diggity don't. So that's an opportunity for us. Now we can click on this number 23 under Matthew Woodward and it takes us to the backlink tool and it automatically adds um, the filters here and it will give us you know, exactly matching google.com and it will basically give us a list of the links that Matthew Woodward has got from google.com um, and you can see the link there and all that kind of stuff. So you can actually see what Matthew Woodward's got and then you can obviously try and go and get that for yourself and you can do that for any domain name out there that's on here. So you can click on the number. So for example, if I look at weebly.com there's four out of four matches, so there's four websites listed on there and all four of us, four of us have a link or multiple links on Weebly.com. So that's not a backlink opportunity for me because we've already got one. Um, GitHub.com, one out of the four guys have got a link on GitHub. The lucky guy there, Matthew Woodward again. Um, so obviously Matthew's a very well known um SEO guy and does a lot of tutorials and you know it's been around for many years so he is likely to have the biggest bunch of stuff out there um, but that you know that as a guy starting out you know from now or two years ago you're going to find these opportunities so you can continually go through this list to find opportunities for yourself um, that Matthew Woodward's got or you know Matt Diggity's got or Andy Drinkwater's got and trying to acquire these for yourself um, and you know there's literally tons of data here and you want to go through all of this data to make sure that you get the best um, opportunity that you possibly can to 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 beat your rivals, you know, at the end of the day, we all want to get as many links as we possibly can. Now, you can also export this data. So over on the right-hand side here, you can export this data into an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file. Entirely up to yourself what you want to do. Um, but basically, the tool is very simple and easy to use. It will allow you to quickly establish what links one of the other guys have got that you don't and then you can work on how you're going to get them whether you do outreach or you know you're, you're paying a VA to do the outreach or whatever it's going to be you want to give them this list and say here's the opportunities that I want these guys have got it try and make it happen for me so that is basically um how the backlink gap tool works. You can select a domain name that you'd like to analyze and get new ideas so you can analyze my website here um, and see what uh, you know what that particular domain name can do compared to some of the other guys so it's you can see there it's not going to give me any kind of green boxes because it's analyzing my domain name but it's given me these other opportunities all in these green boxes here highlighting them for me as links that i don't have so you can very quickly go through that spreadsheet and see there that matthew woodward has loads and loads more domain names than me. Andy Drinkwater has a few and Matt Diggity has a fair few as well that are untapped opportunities for me. Um, and as I say, it's just got a light green shading on it. As you can see, that's white. Um, then it's got the light green shading and I can click on these um, to see what those opportunities are. Um, and it just, again, takes me to the backlink tool and it's going to give me the exact links that he Matthew's got that I don't and so it's really simple and easy to use and it just identifies those backlink opportunities very easily for you rather than get into a tool checking what they've got and then you do a bit of outreach and then you forget what the next step is this puts it all in one nice dashboard for you and that's what the backlink gap tool can do for you it's not get any cool other functions and features it's just very simple and straight to the point with this particular tool um, if you do have any questions i'm sure um, or any feedback you can also send feedback to same rush in the top right hand corner so if you feel there's something else that they should add to the tool feel free to send that feedback through to same rush um, and they also do have other link building tips on there which you can have a look at so thank you very much for watching this tutorial hope you enjoyed it